Hi, this is Nicholas Bell with Ion Cinema, here to review Impetigore, uh, the latest film directed by Joko Anwar, uh, which will be available to stream on Shudder uh, July 23rd, 2020. Uh, premiered last fall in Indonesia, uh, but then also was part of the Midnight Section at the 2020 Sundance Film Festival. Uh, it's a film about two friends, uh, Maya and Dini, who basically uh, uh, are both without families but have forged a strong friendship in the city, uh, which I would take to be Jakarta. Uh, they both work as uh, toll booth operators, and while they're having a conversation on uh, over the phone one night, Maya uh, reveals that a strange, creepy man has been kind of cruising back and forth, and he suddenly shows up again, and in a, a very uh, unsettling opening sequence attempts to uh, murder her and stabs her in the leg in the leg where she has a scar that uh, ends up containing an, an amulet that she has uh, grown up with uh, relating to her childhood uh, in a rural uh, Indonesian village that she decides to go back to with uh, Dini in tow to see if she has an inheritance there. Uh, and of course when she gets there she finds out the town has been cursed for the past two decades. All the babies are born there without skin and of course uh, Impetigor means skin puppet uh, and how that all kind of relates together uh, it ends up being kind of creepy in a film that has an extended build-up uh, and then kind of crashes down into Grand Guinal. Uh, it, it's basically an Indonesian horror soap opera uh, which is it's kind of a lot of fun if you can uh, forgive how a lot of the exposition about Maya's past and what's going on in the village are kind of revealed. Uh, if you're taking notes, it might be helpful. Uh, however, uh, my previous experience with Joko Anwar was uh, his 2009 film The Forbidden Door, uh, and I've kind of avoided uh, his output since then because of that film, uh, but I was very pleasantly surprised. Uh, his 2017 film Satan Slaves was a huge hit in Indonesia, uh, which was why this film premiered there first, and I believe uh, the, on the reputation of which propelled him to Sundance. Um, it's basically a, a plot that feels a lot like Georges Franju's Eyes Without a Face, crossed with um, a, a very nice uh, puppet master uh, traditional narrative like Hu Shaoshen's uh, The Puppet Master. Uh, it's reminded of Three Extremes. There's a lot of uh, homage to Texas Chainsaw Massacre, uh, very nice eerie sequence uh, to an off-kilter warbling of uh, Beethoven's Ode to Joy. Uh, Maya is played by Tara Basro, uh, and Dini is played by Marissa Anita, both actresses, uh, especially uh, Ms. Basro, who are in most of Joko Anwar's films. Uh, they have a nice uh, rapport, uh, a lot of really creepy moments, very bloody, very gory, uh, and most of all, a lot of fun. Uh, I would give Impetigore three out of five stars. Thank you. Hey, this is Eric from MyOnCinema.com. If you want to support us, subscribe below. For more reviews, interviews, film festival coverage from Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, you want to check out these guys on this side.